Here's the video of my gear I'm taking on the Appalachian Trail. Let's see here, what do we have? I have a down jacket, just a very light weight jacket. You can put it into this hair uh, bag so it stuffs up pretty small. I have a sleeping bag here. It's uh, to minus one degree Celsius. A Swiss Sport sleeping bag. Pretty compact. So it's pretty light. I got a baby bag military issue. <laughs> Keeps you dry, rolls up pretty good. Let's see here. Baby color. Uh, we have a uh, Caden water filter pump <laughs> um, I have uh, compass here and a uh, bandana one uh, Salt and pepper for food. I have a knife. Just a small knife. Brazilto. Made in Sweden. Pretty good knife. Uh, a sharpener for the knife. A little diamond sharpener. Comes out. <laughs> Some insect repellent. Deet. Hundred percent. Deet. Pretty much poison, but that's what you need for the mosquitoes anyway. <laughs> Some uh, petroleum jelly for my uh, cuts and blisters and stuff. Some gauze. Um, duct tape is always good for making band-aids and stuff. Patching stuff. Yeah, this is a little seat. Piece of foam enough to sit on the ground. Holds up nice. Ego products mix that. Just a cheap uh, headlamp. Pretty good. Ah, a little saw. Maybe I take this, I'm not sure. But I think it might be good for making shelters and things. Some extra shoelaces. <laughs> Some rope for hanging my tarp. This is my tarp. Uh, Equinox. Made in the USA. <laughs> this is a canteen. Uh, some military cover, just middle canteen I found at the uh, flea market or something. Now, Jean, I found at the flea market. Uh -oh. Ladder holds two, holds about two liters. Uh, 
possibility for four liters of water there. Cup, just metal cup, you can fit one ramen noodles in that. Norwegian flag. <laughs> Take this with me for all my Norwegian friends. Thermorests and small thermorest. Uh, and you can lay on, sleep on, sleeping pad. No, this is a military, just plate for eating. Some steel, pretty heavy actually. I might replace that with a titanium one. This is uh, just the alcohol stove. Pretty good. Some uh, togonium makes this, I think. Uh, or a uh, outdoor research uh, Gore-Tex jacket. Uh, pretty good jacket. Tough. So it's good quality. This is a uh, field duty from Hello Sport. Uh, this is really good. This is uh, I'm going to use this for to lay on, and you can actually use this for making a shelter and stuff. Keep you dry. This is just some reading material, one of my favorite books. This is a fishing kit. So just some flies and some lures and stuff in there. Probably put some fishing line in there later. And this is a uh, GPS I'll be taking as well. This is my pack. Gregory Stout 65. Really good pack actually. It has, uh, I can take this top part off. So, um, pretty tough pack. It has a uh, pack cover that's included with it. Taking on a couple of trips uh, just to test it out. Has some side pockets there. That's a place for your sleeping bag down there. Really comfortable. Pretty airy. Some pockets on the side for your drinking bottles. There's a smash pocket in the front so you can put your dirty clothes or whatever in it. So I'm really happy with this. These are my hiking shoes here. Um, Rails. Select dry leather. I really like leather stuff because it breathes good and it's waterproof. So I'll put some good shoe wax on these. And I like that mink oil wax. I'll probably use that. But these are not tested them out in the Norway weather and. They've done pretty good, so. Yeah. Or, 
Like you used to dig a hole through and go to the toilet. <laughs> Some people use a stick or a stone, but the ground is pretty hard, so I think this is better. 